Yeah, we're beauty's big sister. Check it. Uh. Hi, girls. Welcome back to my beauty's big sister channel. I'm going on holiday. I'm so excited. My body hasn't felt sun in quite a while. <laughs> oh, I am going to miss this one so much. It's going to be like 10 days without her. You're going to have a lovely time in Auntie Laura's and you're going to go on a holiday. So I am packing, as always, very last minute. I've got so, so much to do. <laughs> um, so let's get trying on things. Um, first of all, I want to open this. I've got an outfit from Forever Unique. So I'm excited to open this. Leo thinks he's getting his dinner now and Callie's winding him up. <laughs> so this is a bit out there for me. It's good to push yourself out your comfort zone. And this does look really pretty. Puff sleeve, it's a mini dress. It's got this gorgeous ruffly detail. What do we think about this? It is a statement dress for sure. I love that it kind of balances out with it being a really big puff <laughs> shoulder to it being a cute little mini skirt. I think I'll wear this with some cute little flat sandals, maybe some gold sandals and a white clutch maybe. But this is, this is cute. I think the print is fun. I think I'll have to do this with like my hair up seeing as it's such a statement dress. But the quality of this feels absolutely stunning. Everyone is very much in their Sophia Chi posh girl era at the minute, which I'm loving. I love a classic style. I've actually gone for a gorgeous classic French manicure, secret spa come to my house, which was so nice and gave me a gorgeous manicure and pedicure. This is um, Love is in the Bear, such a beautiful color with obviously a white tip. I've gone for the same on my toenails, so it's just like really classic and matching. Um, right now I'm gonna, try this on i actually picked this up in h&m and it was the only one there and it was because someone had returned it into store but ordered it online so i was lucky to find this but they only had one there which was a size 10. normally i would have gone for a size 8 um, but actually this fits nicely in this beautiful linen jumpsuit how like timeless and classic is this I absolutely adore this and I just feel so nice in it. I think it gives such a beautiful silhouette here. I actually have faked tan this morning <laughs> with my Sienna X One Hour Express. I left it on for three hours, so I've got a nice dark tan to go away with. I hate going on holiday and feeling super pale. So I've already got a bit of a colour. So this looks so nice. I think with gold jewellery is going to look stunning. I got these sandals from Zara, which... I've tried to find them online and I can't, so I'll keep on looking out for if they do list them online. Um, I got them in the Oxford Street store. Um, but how gorgeous are they? Just like really, really classic raffia. Is that what you call it? Raffia cream and black sandals. I just think they look so classy. So I'm going to be wearing these. I think you're not even going to be able to see. One day I'll have a set up, guys, where you can see the full length of me. It's going to be great. <laughs> But this is what they look like. <laughs> um, yeah, I love that. So they're a super, super wide leg, these. So it almost looks like a, a skirt. Um, yeah, I think this is so nice. I'm very excited to wear this on holiday. And I just know I'll wear this all throughout the summer as well. Just felt to buy some hats. Obviously not this outfit. But when I've got my bikini on, I just got this cute little like straw bucket hat, which I think is really cute. Uh, that was from H&M. And then I also got this for, probably more for the shoot I'm going to be doing, but it was four quid. And I thought, actually, for when you don't want to wear a hat, but you want the sun out of your eyes, when you're sunbathing, <laughs> ignore that bit, um, I thought this was quite cool, this little straw visor. It was another dress I just thought looked so classy and lovely, so it's this gorgeous silky gold dress from Zara. Love the like drape detailing around here. The way it just drapes, it's gonna be so nice like walking along the beach of an evening and it's got this really beautiful beading on the straps. Let me show you this on. How pretty is this? I don't normally go for stuff like this for holiday, but where this is gonna be quite like 
not casual, but it's just more, I'm not gonna be going to a lively bar or something like that, you know? It's just like really nice dinners, um, maybe walking along the beach, having a nice cocktail at sunset. I think this is really nice and lightweight, nice and flowy. I love the detail of the beading with this. Definitely need to get a new strapless bra because that's not cute, is it? Maybe I'll go for nipple covers instead. <laughs> I like my hair like loosely pinned up would look cute with this what do you think such a lovely fabric again i know i will wear this so much in summer you can just throw this on put some sandals on go out for a nice dinner in the sun and be cool but still look nice i then got this pair of linen shorts from zara i'll put all the links below this was 25.99 though these shorts this was 45.99 the dress um, but yeah, I actually have these shorts in white and I wore them lows last year. So I thought this kind of oatmeal-y colour in the linen, I'm going to wear loads. Um, and they just, it's comfy, giving more of a casual vibe, but you still feel dressed up with like a smart pair of shorts like this. So I have a top in mind that I want to wear with these. So I'm going to go grab that and put this on. Just decided in this moment, I actually don't think I'm going to wear these shorts of an evening because they do actually look pretty casual and this isn't really going. But this is what I had in my head. You know, I'm like one of those outfits that you think is going to be so good and then you put it on and it's like, oh no. So I'm thinking I'll still take this top, but maybe wear this with some white wide leg trousers i'm gonna try them on and see if i still fit into them because it's been a while since i wore them and i've definitely gone white so <laughs> i need to try them on but i think i'll take these shorts to wear in the day so i've got some really cute new this is from zara actually i thought this was a really nice um vest how much was this it was nine pounds but let me put this on yeah something like this just to go down to breakfast. Please stop jumping up at me, Callie. Yeah, it's just a really nice, good quality ribbed top. And I think with these shorts is really cute. I also got this linen white shirt from Primark. It was 20 pounds, so a bit on a higher price point for Primark, but it's amazing quality. I love this like big cuff on the sleeve. It's really nice and structured. You know, like one of these shirts is just handy to throw on over a bikini but also if you get cold of an evening which i always do um next i got these zara trousers again linen can you see the color scheme going on here i definitely need to inject some color into my holiday wardrobe otherwise it's going to be fully fully neutral um but these were 30 pounds let me put them on i absolutely love these these are so good they are like a a straight leg so perfect to wear with flats i again gonna get so much wear out of these all i would say is i'm gonna need to take a steamer because a lot of this is linen and incredibly creased so if i don't want to look like i've rolled out of bed i think i need to uh yeah take <laughs> a steamer with me but i really like that it's an elasticated waistband because it's super comfy nice pockets i mean i pro i don't know could i wear this for evening is this dressy enough and um, i've got this really beautiful as i said injecting some color i've got this really nice color coral crop could this work this is from h&m this was literally, oh, this was 10 pounds. This is a good color and a good shape. I like this cut around here. This is really nice. But is this dressy enough for evening? I guess if I'm like full glam hair and makeup done, maybe this could look nice for evening. What else did I get? I've got some good bikinis from H&M. So this is the first one. The only thing is now I've realized I like... <laughs> putting my bikini top like really quite far apart so it's literally just covering this area so that you get good tan lines with this obviously you can't adjust that but anyway good color really wanted a brown bikini and they are so cheap in h&m so 5.99 for the top i had to go for a 12 on the top um in the end because they were just coming up quite small but then a size eight on a bottom and this was six pound um but yeah really good quality really good fit it's got like a scrunch bum to it which is really nice and i love the gold detailing so because i loved it 
I then got it in another <laughs> another color, which is really, really cool. I love this like aqua print and I've got quite a lot of cover ups that are greeny. Like I've got some really good green trousers actually that could go with this. So again, it's the same cut, but what's nice about H&M is that they do different tops and bottoms so you can kind of mix and match to what style you like for me i love a scrunch bum they did have like a full high waist brief as well they did have a band on. and then this one fit so nice um i only needed a size 10 in the top of this one but it's this lime green bikini and i don't have a color bikini like this um not detailing here love this is what i mean that you can separate so I will literally have them really, really small to get the smallest tan lines. Um, and then this isn't a scrunch bottom, but it is a really quite flattering shape. I just don't like it when it's too of a full coverage at the back. I like to show a little bit of booty. <laughs> I don't know why I've got another white vest. Oh, I got a short sleeve t-shirt. This, this is a good bikini slightly more expensive it was misleading because it was on the same hanger so it looked like it was a set this dog is out of control i've done Kali a licky match she'll be sorted for a bit <laughs> so you think it's a set and it's 20 pounds it's not it's 20 pounds a piece um again the only things that i'm not a huge fan of with this but i just did really like the detail of it is that it's a really like high triangle you see that it comes up so normally they're they're more like that whereas this comes like quite full coverage up here i did think it just looks so classy and i love this tortoise shell detail on it so that's the top and then this is the bottom it's a really flattering fit actually and then that tortoise shell just sits on the lower belly and i think that is so nice and so different and classy like oh that linen shirt my new zara sandals perfect so the zara dupe fragrances are my favorite thing right now um so this is a new one that i got and it smells so good this is a dupe for the mansira roses vanilla oh my gosh it's absolutely stunning um i think this was 20 pounds and the mansira one is i think that's how you say it. it's like over 100 it smells so good and i also just got a because i didn't have a full size but i thought this size like 11.99 might be ah! oh my god <gasps> that nearly just smashed on the floor i thought this size might be handy for taking in my bag so this is the red temptation if you haven't smelled it yet it is amazing it is the dupe of baccarat rouge i do feel like you need to spray quite a lot of this to make it linger so the fact that it isn't that expensive is really handy but yeah these two are my favourites right now. And out of all the perfumes I've got, I just keep <laughs> tending to go for my Zara ones at the minute. Um, all of my other pieces aren't new. Like, this is all the new stuff I've got. I've actually got a pretty little thing order coming. But annoyingly, it's not coming until tonight. Not ideal. Um, so I might have time to show you that tomorrow. But if I do, you'll see it in the next clip. If not... I guess you'll see my pack suitcase. <laughs> Good morning, girls. It is the next day. Annoying because I did want to finish my packing yesterday, but it didn't happen. I am the worst packer. I'm the biggest procrastinator when it comes to packing. So half of it is filled. I've got my clothes in there. However, this arrived last night and now I'm like, am I going to want to take something that's in here? So let's see what i got from pretty little thing okay so first of all i got this really cute tie ruffle top that i thought would look cute with a bikini top underneath okay i really need to take all the tags off of my stuff so this is the um h&m oh it's a bit tight bikini oh that is really tight and it's gonna be hot while i'm away this is quite a handy top to just throw on if you're like going from like the pool to lunch um with a little sarong is that cute what do we think i kind of love it and i love that it's got nice long sleeves okay and the next thing i got i got everything in an eight in a ten because i just 
never know with pretty little thing what I'm gonna be. <laughs> um, so this is a size 10 top, I think. I'll double check in a minute. Uh, this is an eight of this skirt. Um, the only thing with crochet like this, is this gonna like catch on something and pull? It does look quite cute, let me try it off. Hey, I love this, this is really, really cute. It's actually really nice and stretchy and comfy. So this is a size eight. I also had this in black and white. I'm kind of gutted I didn't get that color, but I know that I will wear the nude and cream lows because it will go with so many of my bikinis. So really, really cute. Um, yeah, as I say, really nice and comfy. It's got a really nice split here. I wasn't expecting to love this as much as I do. This is stunning. You're gonna be able to see my packed case here, but I just need to show you the bottom of this. Can you see, like, it's like a fish towel kind of dress. This looks so expensive. I actually got it in this white, which I adore. I think this is stunning. I will try it on, but actually I don't know if there's any point because can we just look at my hand? Like, what would you wear underneath that? Um, where it's so low cut, like I couldn't wear any of like the slip dresses underneath. So I'm not sure about the white, but I actually love the pink. I don't normally wear pink. I'm not much of a pink girl, but I really, really love this and I love all the ruffles. So maybe I won't keep the long sleeve white top and I'll just keep this and this can be my, my little dose of ruffle. But I think this is a beautiful dress. I kind of wish I would have ordered the eight because the 10 does feel quite big. But I mean, at least I'll be comfy. <laughs> this is kind of giving me like oh Polly House of CB vibes. So for the price, I'm buzzing with it. It's very much naked, but I just love this. I love it in white, but it's just not gonna work. Like, it is see-through. <laughs> I'm gonna try and think of some options because I do like the pink, but now I've seen the white, I'm like, oh, I just want this in my life. It's got on, it's like, I can't really show you. <laughs> um, it's from Primark again. So it's almost like a bra, but with a dress in it. Um, so it's low enough, kinda, that I could get away with it. You can kind of see where it ends, but it just kind of looks like a lining. Yeah. I think I'd get away with this. I mean, I don't really know what I was thinking with this because it's definitely not like holiday vibes. However, like the monochrome, obviously it's very much in at the minute. So I thought maybe this could work, but I love it. And it actually fits really nice. It's a wide leg at the bottom. However, if I put my arms up, I am concerned that there would be a uh, little slip going on there. Um, it's cute, it fits really nice, but I don't think I need this. <laughs> oh yeah, and I got some bangles, because I just don't have a good gold bangle in my life, and I feel like it's essential for holidays. One's like wavy, and one is thin. Cute. Oh, I do kind of want to keep this, but it's just not, it's not necessary, Daisy. I ordered these from Amazon. And I was really scared that they were going to end up being like girls flip flops. But they're not, they're women's. <laughs> I thought I'd order the wrong side because it said girls in the, in the title. Anyway, I got a six to seven, perfect size for me. Um, and how beautiful is this colour? I haven't seen this colour before. This is going to go with everything um, in my wardrobe. So I'm really happy I've got a new pair of Havanas because I was walking down the seafront an hour away from home on Saturday when my Havanas actually snapped. <laughs> so these were very much needed. I need to sort out my makeup and what I'm going to take, but I think I'm going to treat myself to taking my Charlotte Tilbury bag, which I have never used. It's been sitting there collecting dust. Um, <laughs> so I think I'm going to take this with me. This is the Platinum Jubilee makeup bag that she launched. And I think it's a really good size for going on holiday. So I think I'm going to take this with me. This is the tan that I am wearing. So good. I actually done a video solely on this. It's just the best. It's brilliant. Uh, Sienna X Express Mousse. And I've just got such a gorgeous, even colour. I feel good to go away, get in a bikini. All that good stuff. 
Um, right, I'm going to take a Sol de Janeiro spray with me. I want to take this, oh, there we are, <laughs> spray. Well, their sprays are so good. Like, they just smell so yummy. And I think what I want to do is take this for like during the day. This is the Sol de Janeiro Rio Radiance. It's the new one. This is just like pure, pure summer. And I'm so excited because I have the brand new Rio Radiance Cream. And it's in the mini size, so perfect for taking on holiday with me. Love the packaging. It's in this like frosted matte. The bright pink against the yellow looks so good apparently this smells amazing but it also has a little bit of shimmer in it as well and it is limited edition i believe so if you want it be quick oh, so it smells just as amazing as that body fragrance it's the same scent um so this will be perfect for taking away because i can layer the scent so i'll be smelling delicious on the beach yeah i can see the shimmer okay i need to match up this side now <laughs> i'm gonna take this one but obviously because it's got shimmer in it steve is not gonna want to wear that <laughs> so i think i'll take a mini of my classic boom boom as well another boom boom that i love to take on holiday is the boom boom soul oil spf 30 again this has shimmer in it and it just looks amazing while you're sunbathing like underneath the um like sunlight it just glistens it's so so beautiful I take my elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream because it's a go-to especially if i do end up burning this is going to be great uh, but also for cuticles for my lips yes um elizabeth arden love this this is the miracle hydrating mist it is mm, the most amazing refreshing mist i'll probably take this on the plane with me actually because it is just so nice to spritz on to kind of refresh your face i always have the dilemma of do i wear makeup on the plane where oh, amazingly fly in business class so i feel like i want to look nice for like being in the lounge and everything so maybe i'll wear makeup and then take it off when i'm on the flight um and then do a little bit of skincare maybe i'll do that uh this is amazing the elizabeth arden eight hour cream spf 50 sun defense stick this is brilliant if like me you have like patches on your face which burn easily um so it's always my cheekbones always my nose always my nose that goes red put this on also always burn my lips so i'm gonna try this i haven't tried it before it's the naked sundays spf 50 lip oil now i haven't found a glossy lip that has spf in it that actually works so i'm excited to try this because having burnt lips on holiday is the worst thing it's so uncomfortable and so sore so i'm praying that this works because it looks really cute I have my ultra sun spf 30 tinted so that's with the face love this because it gives me a little bit of coverage a little bit of color on my face um and their sun protection is amazing i have the spf 30 um ultra sun body tan activating which is so good and again i swear by this like you literally just have to put it on once in the morning leave an, an hour to soak in before you go out in the sun it's amazing but I feel like there's not a lot in there, which I'm really sad about. So I think I'm going to need to go and get another SPF 30 for the body for when this runs out. I have the Lancaster Tan Maximizer um, Repairing After Sun. This says it's tan prolonging and I trust it and I swear by it. I love Lancaster. So this always comes with me on holiday. And then Morsi's Love Me. So insect repellent essential collab dry shampoo again very much needed so i have my ren um, spf 30 mattifying face sunscreen broad spectrum so i think i'll take this so i've got the option with or without tint so say i want to top up throughout the day but i don't want to keep on adding more color then i think i will take this also for like of an evening where the sun is probably still going to be out and the rays are going to be out but i don't want to put a tint on underneath my makeup i could probably use this and then for skincare i think i will decant my capsules so i think i'll take 
my vitamin C Elizabeth Arden for morning and my advanced light ceramide for evening I think so they'll be my serums that I take on holiday I might take do I take a bottle of serum as well potentially <laughs> I'll take my Ren brightening eye cream I've really been enjoying this is really beautiful the Ola Henriksen Dutopia firming night cream really really nice consistency so I think I'll take that as well as this MAC skin canvas balm this is so nice and it'll be so nice of an evening um, when I'm doing my skincare before my makeup because it's like the perfect base um, so I think that can come with as well and they're quite like good sized tubs they're not too big and then actually I'll probably bring my skinny tan at bronzing mist because my face never tans and we don't want our face to tan either so I need to match up my face to my body genuinely don't know how I am still packing but we're, we're not finished yet so basically I've put all my clothes into this side as well as on my bikinis um and then what I've done is I these are so handy, these Serena Days bags. <laughs> okay there, Kelly. <laughs> He's smiling. <laughs> um, so all my underwear is in there. I'm gonna take my Serena Days mesh bag um, for the beach. All my like sun care and all that is in there. I've got my shoes. I need to put the rest of my toiletries and my makeup in there. But I'll probably do that in the morning before I fly. I'm gonna have to get up really early. I've also just done myself a new bag that I'm gonna take. So I've done it in the green. Um, so that'll be really nice for holiday. There is also another case I need to pack because I'm going to be doing a Serena Day shoot. So all of my samples need to go in there, which is very exciting. Uh, I am running out of time today. Um, the time is just flying. I need to go to the post office. I've got to drive Callie an hour away to go and stay with my friend while I'm away. And I'm going to miss her so much. Um, but I will see you soon. Oh, my baby, please be a good girl. <laughs> I'm going to take Callie for a little walk to wear her out before I drop her off and get her food from the pet shop and then we'll be on the way. I'm coming back and then I'm actually seeing Mrs. Doubtfire tonight in the theatre. So I've got to go up to London. So it's a very manic day. I need to try and edit this video before I go as well. And then yeah, we're leaving at seven tomorrow. Um, thank you so much for all your love on my last video. It really does mean the world. Um, I hope you're all okay. And yeah, I'll be doing as much content as I can out there. I try and uh, remember to upload to shorts as well on YouTube. Because uh, I keep forgetting to do that. So I am going to make a note to do that while I'm away. But oh, <laughs> from me and Callie, uh, we will see you when I get back. Bye girls. Never like the glue on the lashes I'm fleet like the brows Never throwing in a towel Always ready for the town Looking beautiful together You're stronger than ever Your community don't tether Yeah, your sisters forever Girls before you missed her Be part of a team Yeah, we're beauty's big sister It's said And put your girls before you missed her Be part of a team Yeah, we're beauty's big sister Check it